We are here with the, one of our favorite YouTube. <laughs> Harley Davidson Heritage. Nice. Class A. Cla oh. The booty gets pretty heavy after a while. It's been amazing meeting everyone this week. Yeah. Um, this show is crazy. Texas is the land of duallys. You can still get out there and travel full time. All in one place, all at the same time. How do you get from thinking about it to actually doing mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Larry is out. teaching us how to film. <laughs> so. Okay. Larry and Alice, it's great to see you guys. Right on. We are here with the, one of our favorite YouTube <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we're trying well, to make one of our favorite YouTube right channels. <laughs> Enjoy the journey. Can we do it in your life or not? Dude. Sure, sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I like the enjoy the journey dot life. Dot life. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. And we ran into these guys three years ago when we first started our, our very first full time adventure. Yes, our very first tour. And it was here. so nice to meet those guys. I had watched so many yes, of your yes. videos Aww. before we went full time i'm nice. telling you i binged the entire channel yeah. and it was so nice to meet you guys on that on that trip but and here we are you guys were so nice even though i like caught you coming out of the bathroom and i'm yelling <laughs> parkour <laughs> yeah it, it was it was awesome it's it great awesome. to see you guys he three years, loves it, three years oh, later yeah, yeah, yeah. He's secretly. okay i'm here with tommy t from hot to fun outdoors is no hold on it says thomas here yeah, I know, but I go by Tommy T. That's my formal name. <laughs> I know, name. I'm just messing with you. Mine said William, but I go by Larry. You go by Larry, all, all right. right. There all you right. have so it. What's so what's at the show today that you really enjoy? Well, I like what Winnebago's done here with the electric van. I mean, they've really put a lot of effort into this. And, you know, we just spent the time uh, touring it like you did. And uh, the product manager talked about it. They've had over 200 people involved with this design. Pretty remarkable when you think about it. And it's all electric. So when you see that, it's it. We know the RV world is starting to get more innovative. I think they've been kind of doing the same thing for a long time, right. and now they're getting ready for some innovation. I think that will add to competition, and we'll start to see other manufacturers step up. So I think it's an exciting time for the RV world. Yeah, this is definitely the future of RVing right here. Yeah, no question about it. So it's great to see other YouTubers out here also. You know, love your channel. You guys thanks, do a great a lot, job. Man. I appreciate it. You know, it's great to have How to Have Fun Outdoors and these guys together. That's pretty cool. The best thing about this show is meeting guys like you, other yeah. people that just love the RV yeah. business yeah. and everything like that. And it's and, all. Yeah. And the loving, the silky and the Yorkie. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're here at the Tampa show with, uh, who are you? Well, uh, I'm just a shopper and certainly not a pirate. No, I'm just looking for a great deal in an RV to stuff with loot and booty. I mean, to take my family camping. Certainly, I'm not looking for one with the keys left in it overnight. No. Have you had any luck so far? No, no, they've all been a little too smart for me. But I did bring an umbrella and it did rain for about three and a half seconds. Right. So I feel pretty smart. Love the RV Super Show. So what crazy stuff has happened to you today? Uh, well, I kept thinking I was hearing bagpipes all day long, no matter where I was. I kept thinking I was hearing bagpipes. And then finally, I realized it wasn't my malaria. There really was a bagpipe band. Because you know what they say, no right. matter where you are, you're close enough for bagpipes. Right, I like that. Awesome. Well, thanks very much. My great pleasure, Lorraine. Hey, it's been dead without and you. Thank you for get, being here. I hope you get that RV you're looking Be for. Be nice, because, you know, booty gets pretty heavy after a while. Let's just say it. Enjoy. Thanks again, man. We are here at the Tampa RV Show with Ricky and Barb from the channel RV Underway. Now, what have you guys really enjoyed so far today here at the show? Look, we have really enjoyed meeting some of our social influencers here at the show. This is the first year they did this, and it has been a blast. Yeah, I think having a venue for influencers is a great idea. Yes. Both for people that are like scheduled to show up, and then other influencers who just kind of want to show and, and meet other people, you know? Absolutely. It, it has been great. Of course, the vendors are good this year. Some great prices in there. And we are actually in the rally, the super yes. rally. So we had hookups this year. That's awesome. And how many days are you guys going to be here for the, for the show? We came in Wednesday and we leave Sunday, so four nights. All right. Awesome. Well, it's an awesome time. It's awesome seeing you guys again here at the show. And we'll see you maybe next year. Absolutely. So. We certainly appreciate it. Thanks for y'all. I'm here with Chris. And the channel is Type One Detour. One Detour. Right on. Yes. Chris, well, tell me a little bit about your channel. So we are a uh, family of four traveling the country full time with myself and our oldest daughter living with type 1 diabetes. Wow. And we are just out there traveling the country, sharing our experiences, letting people know that 
no matter what uh, health issues, concerns you might have, you can still get out there and travel full time. Well, that's a really good message. And we have the same message because I got sick this year. Yes. And we went traveling anyways. Yes. So, so you, you don't you don't have to have any excuses. If you want to make it work, you can make it work. Right. Don't let little obstacles like that, you know, overcome them. A absolutely. Just, no, that's you know, a really good message to have. Our phrase is always just create your own detour. And where are you from? We are from, we're full timers, but we're from Pennsylvania originally. Right on. And yes. so where are you spending most of your time? Uh, winters in Florida because <laughs> yeah. we're smart. Just like us, right? Yes. Okay, gotcha. And what kind of rig you got? We have a Solitude 3950 BHR. Oh, right on. Awesome. Yes. So, Solitude, same as us. Okay, so what are you here looking, looking for at the show? We are kind of just walking through everything, seeing what's out there seeing what's new to see if we ever want to upgrade to another grand design product but kind of just getting ideas of new decor and how we can make changes to our current rig great and the, the channel is type type, type one, one detour, detour. Yep. we're on and all youtube instagram TikTok, all the fun and it's places all the same thing all the same thing okay yep. great okay awesome man it's really nice meeting you. yes thank you you too okay so how are you guys doing what's your name my name is neil neil and megan and megan okay where are you guys from Plant city Penn City? Plant City, Florida. Oh, Plant City, right here in Florida, right on. And what kind of rig do you guys got? Uh, we got a 20 footer. A 20 footer, right. So you say you're familiar with the channel. So what kind of videos have you watched on the channel? A lot. Like the we were uh, campground no... tours, probably? Especially yes. those ones. We love the uh, Florida State Park, so that's definitely the one. So what are you looking for here at the show? We are actually looking for some of the accessories that we need for our trailer, so it helps a lot to see what everybody else so has. you're not looking for a new rig. Oh, you're no. happy with your rig. Mm -hmm. You're just looking for some, what kind of stuff are you looking for? Um, the steps. <laughs> oh, you need new Upgrading steps? Upgrading on the steps, yeah. Yeah, we the actually ones that pull ended down. up putting like rubber things on our steps because our dogs couldn't walk in and out of their RVs. We really oh, love yeah. that. So stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for stopping and saying hi. And Thanks very much for watching the videos on our channel. I appreciate it. You are welcome. You, we love him. You, okay, awesome. Okay, what's your name? Nicole. Nicole, and mm -hmm. where are you from? We're from Cross City, Florida. Cross City. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So, do you guys have an RV right now? We do. What is it? It's um, a travel trailer. It's a Shamrock Roo, so like the bunks come down. Right on. Ends. Yeah. And you have kids? Yes. Yeah. So we travel with one. I saw her yeah. at the bunks. I figured it was his mm -hmm. kids involved. Yeah. And uh, how often do you guys get out and travel? Um, we try like at once, yeah, once or twice a month. So we're more like the weekend warriors. Well, that's that's mm -hmm. pretty good if you're doing yeah. it that much. And mm -hmm. where do you guys go? Mostly Florida State Parks? Yeah, Florida State Parks. Um, anywhere on the beach. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And while you're here at the show, what are you guys looking for? We're just looking, like see what's out there. You know, um, I think for like future purchases, maybe when we like retire, get something big and go full time. I got you right mm -hmm. on. So uh, would you go bigger than you have right now? I don't think so. Yeah. We really like the um, like flexibility of having something a little bit smaller because you can stop places. Right. It's not like a you know pull it with a normal size truck, all that stuff. So we right. were actually looking at the, um, the ones that go in the bed. I don't know what they're called. Yeah, yeah, you know, right on. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. truck camper. Yes. Yeah. Right on. That's so funny. cool. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. We're gonna eventually go to Alaska when we do what oh, they're cool. doing with the trucking. Mm -hmm. right awesome. On. So do you already have one? I have a. We right now we live full time in a fifth mm -hmm. wheel. So okay. Foot fifth wheel. And we've traveled all over the country and mm. Canada over the last three years. All right. right That's really cool. We'll get there one day right when on. we retire. <laughs> well, thanks very much for Thank taking time, you. taking a couple of minutes. I appreciate mm. it. Thank you. I'm going to look up. <laughs> Have a good one. Great. Okay. Well, so what are your guys' names? Um, Dan. Dan. And I'm Tracy. And Tracy. And where are you guys from? Gettysburg. Gettysburg. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Right at. Yeah, actually, uh, we were in Pennsylvania this last mm. summer and oh, we yeah. really enjoyed it. It was fun. Where are we at? We were in uh, near Philadelphia. We were oh, at we're sorry. Uh, French Creek State Park. Oh, I know. oh we've yeah. been there. Yeah. 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 Uh, stink bugs stink. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They oh, yeah. do. That stink bugs. Welcome to Pennsylvania. Yeah. Can yeah, you get rid much. of those stink bugs for me? No. We tried. Otherwise, we left. I don't, I'm not sure. We left Pennsylvania we brought exactly for that. with us to Florida. <laughs> no, yeah. there's no. What is it with Pennsylvania and the stink bugs? I don't know. I have no idea. That's why we left. It's the mayor. Right. <laughs> or the governor. Him. That one. No, you guys full timers or part timers? Yeah. yeah. Full timers. Full -timers. Full -timers. Right on. And yep. what do you guys travel on it? We uh, have 20, a 2020 POS. No, it's not. <laughs> it's a it's a 2020 Heartland Fuel. POS means piece of shit. <laughs> Atta girl. Uh, yeah. And yeah. what's what's wrong with your rig? Uh, uh all kinds of little things. Little you things. know, it's just it and we needed something quick to get on the road because I am a photographer. And I do art fairs. Right. We had to get on the road because we had all these art fairs booked. 
Right. And so we needed to get going, and that was the only thing we could find. So we were like, let's just get this one right. to go, and then we'll keep looking. So you might change. So you're here actually looking at rigs. Yeah. Yeah, we looked at yeah. a couple. Yeah. yeah. And what, 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 we had an what idea. What looks good? What looks uh, good to you? The Alliance. The Alliance. With, with the side yeah, deck. With the side deck. Because we want the side deck. Right. And then and the Brinkley. Yeah, the Brinkley. And how big are you looking? I'd like to keep it. 40, 40 and under 42 but. something like that i don't yeah. want to that's pretty big I yeah do we're at 35 and there's a lot of places that are really yeah, yeah. tight getting oh, yeah. 35. yeah yeah we're, we're 35 we 35 it's uh, a 35 pool. foot bumper pool yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's um it is fun it's interesting trying to get in and, some and how long have you guys been doing this since march uh, yeah we started full time in march this year and then last year we did, um, we did an extended. like four or five months yeah. here right and then yeah, we knew we were going to do this for a long time. We wanted yeah. to do this before we even got married. Well, it was awesome meeting you guys. Me too. Nice to and meet you too. we'll see you on the road, I'm sure. Absolutely. Yep. Thanks. Take care. Okay, I am here with Desiree. Desiree. And what kind of rig do you got, Desiree? I have a 2019 Forest River Primetime Fury, and she's a 35 foot toy hauler. And what are you carrying around in that toy? <laughs> uh, I have a uh, Harley. Hold on, you only got 30 minutes. I have uh, <laughs> Harley Davidson Heritage. Nice, yeah. right on. Is yeah. that is that hard to carry that baby around? It's a little tough getting her up in there, right? Because I had her lowered, but no, it's not difficult at all. Okay, we awesome. have friends in the community, right? Help you unload Absolutely, her. Absolutely, right? And you know, load her up if I need. That's so great. it's all good. And so, are you looking for them in particular at the show? Well, you know, do we ever stop shopping? No. No. no right? yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> My girl gets me out on the road. She gets me down the road. Right. But there's always room for improvement and upgrades. So right. So would you go bigger or smaller? I would go bigger and lighter weight, hmm. if bigger possible. Bigger and lighter weight. Oh, that's a that's a that, you're asking yeah. for something a little different there. <laughs> See, I want to downsize. Ha ha. What are you uh, what, what are you towing with? I have a Ram 2500 diesel. 2500 diesel uh, single rear wheel. Yes. Right on. Okay. And that's is that no problem? No your issues rig? whatsoever. Okay, great. Yeah, I have a Ram also. So yes. I'm, I'm in the Ram category. <laughs> okay, great. Well, what else are you going to do while you're here at the show? Well, I'm meeting with you lovely folks. <laughs> of course. Just going to check out all the toy hauls that I can. Right, right on. Well, thanks very much for oh, no sh sharing. And yes. we'll see you in the show. Hey, tell me your name. I'm Denny. And where are you from, Denny? Atlanta. And are you an RVer? Yep, Class A. Cla oh, Class A classer. A. Am I allowed to interview him? Because I'm uh, just a fifth wheeler. Yeah, too good for us. So what, do you, what kind of Class A you got? We've got a Tiffin Allegro bus. Oh wow, that's it's, awesome. That's it's, a nice rig. And it's how, a good rig. How long is it? Forty. Forty feet. Now you're here at the show. Are you looking for something different, or we're just camping, enjoying, meeting people, right stuff on. like that. How long have you had it? Uh, we've had it about four years. And you're a full timer? No, we're part timers. Part timer. When when work allows us to be on the road. Gotcha. Are you, are you thinking about full timing? Maybe. We'll always have a home base. Always have a home base. My my wife would love you. It could be a smaller home base, but yeah. we'll we'll definitely have a home we're base. We're full timers, and at some point we are gonna have to have a home base. But that's a good that's a good call for you. And. Um, what is it you like? Why did you pick a Class A? Well, we had a minivan and a Kia Sorento, so there's not many things you can tow right. with that. So right. that that put us into, we rented a gasser. Um, we got blown off the road a lot, so then we went diesel. And oh, nice. it's, it's fun. I like I driving mean, the big rigs. I mean, that's a sweet rig you have right there. Okay, here's a question for you. Okay, so you're backing into a site. Now, you you do this with your wife? Yep, my lovely wife, Christy. Okay, so have you guys ever gotten into arguments backing in? Not really backing in. <laughs> we, we, we had fun the other day unhooking the toad. Oh, unhooking the toad. Okay. It was our first time. Right, so is there any yelling? She, is there she, ever any yelling? She drove yelling? around a few times. No yelling. Yeah. Maybe an eye roll badly on my part. Right, I but, got you. Well, that's pretty good because yeah. I've seen some incidents out there and I, I learned to try to keep my mouth shut. When it's nothing cocktails won't take care of later. Right, exactly, right on. Well, thanks very much for taking the time to doing the interview for me. Awesome. Okay, I'm here with Renee and Maite here at the Tampa RV Show 2023. How are you guys liking the show? And where, where are you guys from? We're from Miami and we're loving the show. I think it's a great way yeah. to see all of the RVs that you might be interested in all in one place, all at the same time. It's wonderful. Yeah, it's what, our first time. What kind of RV do you guys have? 
We have a 24 foot Class C at Geneva. And are you looking for something different here at the show? Looking for something smaller with just as many amenities. And so far, I think we'll stick with what we got. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. we like what we got. Yeah, it's, it's a show shows lots of cool stuff, but then a lot of times you're just like, I think I'm just going to stick with what yeah, I got. Couldn't I'm the same way, honey. Yeah. She yeah. wants smaller. How I want a downsize. How big, are, how big is the rig <laughs> you're in right. now? We're in a 35 foot. That's big. Yeah, that's, that's big. big. But we're full time. Yeah, yes, that's true. we're that's we're true. weekend warriors still. We're still weekend working, warriors. but when still we working full time. when we're we gonna, grow up, we want to be like you guys. Yeah, we're, <laughs> right, and you know what's funny? In another year or two, we're going to be like you guys. <laughs> that, we're that, going that'd be back. Great. We're going back to being weekenders again. Yeah, well, well then, not weekenders. Okay. I call them half timers. Half timers. Half timers. Okay. Well, from where you are, you have access to more areas than we do because we're way down south in Miami, and yeah. you guys are up by Jacksonville, right? Yeah, we're up near uh, Gainesville, yeah. Absolutely. Up near Gainesville, okay. So, yeah, you're already halfway out of the state. It takes us three days, sometimes two days to get out of the state. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for taking your time to talk to us and while you're enjoying the show. And are you coming back for more days? Absolutely, yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, we're coming back oh, tomorrow. Okay, right. Well, maybe we'll see you around tomorrow. I hope awesome. so. See ya. Good so. luck to y'all. Bye, good luck to you. Guys. I am here with the Brazen Brits. <laughs> the Brazen Brits. And so we got Natalie and Lawrence. Lawrence. Larry. The unfortunate thing about him is he spells his name wrong. He spells it with you got a thing on with a U instead of a W. Are you it's ever Larry? Uh, occasionally. Right on. But only on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of humor you get from this guy right here. <laughs> okay, so you guys are YouTubers also. We are. Like us. What has been your experience at the show meeting? some of the people that have recognized you mm -hmm. and follow you on YouTube. Yeah, honestly, we uh, we are here for our subscribers and the community aspect. We we already have a rig. We're very happy with it. It's an, it's an older rig. It's a 2018 Grand Design, um, and we love it. Yes, um, we do. However, we do kind of look, we are kind of looking for like smaller rigs, but really the whole show, the best bit about the show is seeing people who watch our channel, right. yeah. uh, other YouTubers, people like you, we've been hanging out, you know, yeah. so that's probably, it's the community thing really, I would say. Totally agree. It's been amazing meeting everyone this week. Yeah, the, I, the reason we're actually, I'm actually doing this today is because I had such a good time, people just stopping me and saying, hey, downsizing makes sense. Yeah. I thought, you know, I'd love to have more of that, you know what I mean? And this is just a way to get up there and do it because, you know, they share their story. And I think that's the part I love the most, just because we all have a story to tell. Yep. And they, people I've met have had such different stories than us. But that's the cool thing. But that's the know? cool thing about RVing, right? Yeah. The, the reason why we like it is because we meet so many people from all walks of life, you know, uh, from everything. Yeah. And we've always said that, um, you know, that we just like meeting different people and with different experiences. If you always stay in the same circle, you only know what you know. Right. But with RVing, we meet people from everything. Like and different Lawrence jobs. likes to know everything about everyone. I do. I'm really bad. I'm really bad. I, I sometimes worry I get a bit intrusive because I keep asking people everything about them. And 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 if, like, you dig, if you dig deep enough, you, you'll get to it. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, exactly. And then they'll yeah. tell you, okay, what the truth is about the challenges that we face mm -hmm. and things like that. And that's what, you know, I love hearing those stories. Yeah. And uh, I love sharing some, some of those stories on YouTube and stuff like that. That's why I always ask in the comments. I'm sure you guys do, you know, share yeah. your story in the comments yeah. because I love reading that stuff. But this is, I'm the same. And so this is, the funny thing is about YouTube, like people ask people to leave comments um, because it helps the algorithm. Right. I, yeah. I genuinely like reading the yeah. comments for people's stories or people's opinions. Yeah. And Feedback, a lot of the stuff yeah. we learn, people will say, hey, you know, like we, I, I did a video on wheel bearings, right? Right. I had so much amazing feedback from a wheel bearing right. video that right. I could make another one just to incorporate all of that stuff. Yeah. So we learn a lot from, we learn from more other from people. other people than yeah. they learn from That's us. the best thing about, especially like DIY shit you're talking yeah. about. You ask in the comments and then you read the comments and you've learned so much like, yeah. oh, I wish I had done this. Now what I do is if I'm going to do DIY, I look at other videos, but I don't, I look at the video, but I read all of their yeah, comments. Some exactly. people, they'll have 200 comments, Yep. yep. but I'll pick up all kinds of good tips mm -hmm. that I've learned through the comments. So yeah. that's the one thing I've really picked up from YouTube that reading the comments of other people's videos is really helpful. Agreed. Yeah. We also <laughs> find, here's an irritation for, for being YouTubers, you'll go somewhere, like say you go to Savannah, 
and then obviously we film, we do some cool stuff, we've done some research, and then we put the video out, and then people would say, oh, you should have gone you here. You should have done this, or you, you should have done that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, man. Well, now we have to go so, back and do it again, <laughs> so, because right, that sounds amazing. Right. Because we, you know, it's a week on since right. we've been there, so then we get the feedback. So we have, all the places we've been, we have to go back now, and yeah. we have a list of all well, the cool things. the great things. thing is, your followers watch the video, and then they read the comments, yeah. And they pick up on it before yeah. they go there, and yeah. that's, that's the great thing yeah. about it. Yes. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> and that's the that's the rewarding thing about doing YouTube. Because believe me, none of us are doing this for the money, except for maybe oh. some of the big channels. You yeah. know what I mean? No, yeah. But we're doing it for the experience uh, in meeting people and things like that. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And it is all about community. And I think people say that people kind of throw that comment around now oh we love the rv community and it doesn't mean much but if you really think about it it is it all about the community the amount of relationships and bear in mind like me and natalie we're from the uk we don't have a lot of friends and family we've been here nine years right everything that we have is from work until right. we started RVing. Mm. Yeah. And now we have so many friends. And the cool thing is they're all over the country. So um, um, uh, uh, Nate and Marissa um, from oh, Let's yeah. Junk More Journey, yeah. they created the app Nomad Near Me. Yeah, I'm just going to promote their app now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no skin in the game. Plugging stuff. But no, I love it. Uh, I think it helps tell us where Alice people was, are. I think Alice was telling me about that. Yeah. yeah. So this, like in the past, like two weeks preparing for the show, I've been getting notifications. This person's in. This person's, oh, you know, because cool. it, it detects when they're near. Yeah, so check that out. That's, that's wherever you good. are in the country. I can always check the app and see if there's someone we know nearby, so yeah. that we can go and grab. Yeah. A drink. We <laughs> learned how important the community was when we're both friends with Rob and Michelle. Yep. They're the ones that went and rescued Alice when I was sick. Yeah, yeah, I remember, yeah. You know, and we this was all through the R V community, yep. you know what I mean? Absolutely. Um, it's things like that that are like, okay, this is this is awesome. Yeah. Yeah it is. And I think, you know, we worry about that. You know, if I fell ill, Natalie won't tow the rig. Um, yeah. yeah, she's not interested. She doesn't. Yeah, no, I, I have it. Rob. I, I yeah, we have, have a, we a have a Rob, Rob as well. I, I, I get it. I get it. Anyone sure. in the RV community, you just put a post out on any of the Facebook groups or Someone anything, will help. and say, guys, we need help. Yeah, we need to move the rig from somebody. one place. Someone yes. will always help. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's an yeah. RVing thing. I got you. So, have you guys, you know, felt it worthwhile to come here? Oh, and absolutely. Will you come again next year? You absolutely. Next year? We've been every year for the past three years. The first year was COVID. And yeah. uh, the show was cool. We were like, this was is that great. 2020 then, right? Yeah. That must have been 2020. And we were here in 2020. We yeah. skipped 2021 because of COVID. And then yeah. we chickened out. Really? I remember yeah. that, yeah. We came last year. Yeah. But yeah, yeah we chickened out. But, but you guys growing. didn't. No, you guys we, didn't. we came every year. Masks we said, through COVID. We're coming. Yeah, we're coming anyway. <laughs> but it was. Get sick? No. No, no, we didn't. We heard that people were getting sick people. afterwards. I was yeah. like, phew. We were like, uh oh. But yeah, no, I think for us this year, where our channel is growing, um, there's a lot of people everyone comes together and it's really cool to just yeah. hang out like this year has been very different for the last two years for us because we uh, the show actually gave us a room I don't know oh whether, wow well, awesome. you know so that we could actually have a meet up with our subscribers yeah, yeah. which was really cool a bunch of people turned up to oh, that that's right yeah well, we're seeing we people. turned up we turned up you did, you did. thank you thank you <laughs> <laughs> thank you that was, that was cool that was fun yeah that it was, was that was a lot of fun so right? yeah it was very different this year from from our point of view was more of a more of a as a youtuber rather than coming to see the show to see and, the rigs and filming right. yeah. we are trying to film but it's in terribly hard <laughs> it is it is difficult but well, we have a lot of subscribers you know we know there's a lot of people who can't make it for whatever yeah. reason so Health they ask reasons. us to film certain things yeah. so i try and drag lawrence around to do it but it's been tough so we're going, yeah. yeah we've we've done a lot of rig reviews for a lot of people who just can't make it yeah. which we love doing so yeah that's yeah. awesome how about yeah. you though so how has it been for you has anyone <laughs> asked you this year yeah, yeah come on interviewer you know what's funny is i had these three girls these four girls come out and i was talking to them the girl takes the biker out of my phone she goes i got some questions for you <laughs> and it went on for like 15 minutes oh good asking right. me about being a full-timer and else because she yeah, really yeah. wanted to know it was kind of funny she actually grabbed the microphone and took there it out there you of my go head. see so uh <laughs> so i got it kind of stuck at me there it was, pretty, it was pretty good but anyway, thanks very much, guys. It was no. it's been awesome meeting you guys and, you know, hanging up with you guys and, and Rob and Michelle and stuff like that. Yeah. I hope we're going to hook up with each other on the road yes. Yes. in the coming year. For sure. Okay, thanks. All right. Okay, I am here with Pat and Aaron. They are fellow 310 GKers. We're here at Grand Design. What do you guys think of the show so far? Oh, it's incredible. This, this show is actually overwhelming. There's so much going on and there's so much to see, so much to learn. Right. Yeah. And all the awesome entertainment that is 
floating yeah. around. This show is crazy. Yo, we, are, we appreciate that somebody else loves all the little oh, entertainment yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. Every time we see one of those little things cruising around, we have to stop and check <laughs> yeah, it out. Yeah, all the one-man bands <laughs> right. love watching yeah. that. Yeah. Now, you guys have a 310 like us. Yes. yes. Now, if you've been to Grand Design, have you checked out what other rigs were you interested in? So, when we were looking to buy, we were, we were looking at the... Uh, 373 and I think we had our eyes on oh we the also 373 were, is probably a little bit bigger than it is the 373 is a little bigger there but was we were also one, looking at the reflection 337 yes, which is pretty comparable similar. to the solitude I'm sorry once you've been to solitude you can't go to reflection. well yeah now now we know that right <laughs> I'm gonna get a lot of shit for that one. Oh, <laughs> man <laughs> bleep yeah, yeah. <laughs> But uh, we fell in love with the 310, and we kept coming back to it. And right, that's the same we, thing. We with kept us. looking at other models, and then we just kept coming back to the 310. It's and, a perfect two-person rig. Yes. Really, yeah. really, it is. Yes, we love the the openness where the right. TV goes yeah. down, right. and you have that whole counter space that whole and the living windows. Room to chill at night. That's the big thing for yeah. us. You know, the way yeah. that everything is just positioned right where we want want it. You yeah. know, right. perfect for us. Right. If yeah. Everything is just positions where we would put it if we so were here's a question the for you. Yeah, so. Two and a half years, what's broken? <laughs> what's broken? What's broken? If they, if they you can't know, answer that right quickly, now, you know, <laughs> so obviously like every brand, it doesn't matter. Stuff breaks, right. but Grand Design took care of us. We had a fiberglass issue. And um, on the front cab, on the front, oh, you cab. guys bought brand new there, right? yeah. Yes, yeah. We bought in in 2018, and we had an issue. Um, we had a fiberglass issue that obviously the dealer wasn't going to be able to handle. Um, well, they they sent a transport from Indiana wow. to New Jersey. Right. They and that picked all up got our fixed rig in that in that warranty yep. zone. They, yes, they towed it back to and Indiana. And you haven't had any fixed. problems since you've been out of warranty? Not with the fiberglass. With the fiber, We've had yeah. a couple little. Little things. issues. Um, Your typical like trim falling off. But right. That's oh yeah, yeah. I'm talking yeah. like my slide fell out or my no, refrigerator no, broke. Nothing like nothing that. Like, nothing like that. Right. Yeah. yeah. No. It's good to hear no. that yeah. other 310 owners have had a great experience with their rig. Yes. Uh, because we love ours and we've had some some issues, yeah. mm -hmm. but mostly yeah. we've been able to fix most of the stuff ourselves. Right. Yeah. And we we watched uh, several of your DIY. Right. Or D I Y, yeah, or, yeah, 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 whatever yeah. that is, um, and we've learned, you know, from experiences that you guys have have been through and things that you encountered. Well, I appreciate that. And yeah. uh, it's just, you know, it's let's see what somebody else has gone through. Yeah, and what right. did they have to do, or what did they no, have really. to buy to fix whatever the problem no was? Complaints. And, right? yeah, no complaints. Absolutely, no complaints on it. the right. 310 and no or Grand Design. With Grand Design is a company so far. Not at no, all. No, they've. That. We've They've taken care of us. Yeah. I love when you actually call their customer service, you get somebody on the phone. Right. I've done several DIYs where I've had to call them and they've given me the plans. They've, they've been yes. very, very good. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. That's, yeah. Very that's, happy. I mean, well, great. the product okay. is what it is, but the company is, yeah, you, you want, know, they you want stand a company behind that's it. Gonna so, back you know, you we up. love the product and we love the company. Right. So. Well, thanks for sharing your story with us here. And, Absolutely. And we'll share it with the rest of the world on YouTube. There we go. That's great. Thank thanks, you guys. so I much. It. Thank you. So we have Dawn and Kevin here from, what's your name of your channel? We are called Nutton Adventured, Nutton Gained, and that's spelled N-U-T-T-I-N because our family think we are completely nuts. nuts. Yeah, I, we got the same feeling yeah. from every, all of our family also. We're going full-time in an RV. So what are you guys traveling in? Uh, we have a 45-foot fifth wheel Whoa. made by Alliance, and we have a Valor 43 V13. Wow. And That's a there's, biggie. There's a biggie. something in the water here in uh, Tampa at the Super RV Show, because last year we showed up with a 36-foot 30, trailer, and we left with a 45-foot fifth wheel. Oh, my god. We gosh. were not prepared, but we have loved it ever since. Wow. And you have any problem traveling in something that big? No. No. And you must, what are you towing with? Uh, I have a Ford F350. Dually. Um, dually. The dually. I was so, say, any, anytime you get into the big ones, anytime you get in the big trailers, you need to have, have you need to have dually. something. But well, it's just the load uh, and the pushing going around the corners. Yeah, you can. You, you, I'm sure you'd be surprised to see lots of big fifth wheels out there without the dually. Yes. So yes. we started when we got here. Like I said, we had a 36 foot trailer, and we had an F250 that we right. were pulling it with. We didn't think about buying the trailer, and then suddenly we had the trailer. Right. So we still had the F250. So we had to put in a hitch 
and a sliding hitch to right. adapt it because we had a short bed. Right. And then suddenly, um, we just realized that it just wasn't enough truck. And we were in Texas. Texas is the land of duallys. So if you need a dually, I'm telling you, go out to Texas. They're out there everywhere. And the Texans love their duallys for about six months, and then they trade them in. So oh. you can find really good used in great shape yeah, duallys. Yeah, that's surprising during, yeah. especially during our you know past COVID times. Yes. Right. Yes. Like that. So what are you guys looking for here at the show? Um, I think the biggest thing that we're looking for. You're gonna get for, a new rig? Come on. Uh, Time to trade up. No, no. Not yet. <laughs> but my daughter's pretty much convinced that the uh, dual suite that they have over here, the 395. The Paradigm dual Paradigm, suite. Paradigm, it's got another a. Alliance. Yeah. It's, a, it's another yeah. master bedroom in the front and the back. Great. So she's kind of along those lines. Right, right. But she's already got her own suite in the back because um, we use the toy hauler as her room in the back. She's oh, 17, yeah, right. and so she's got her own shower and her own wow, that's uh, nice. bathroom. Yeah. So that's she likes that a lot. That's You carry, travel around with your, your teenager. Yes. With our 17-year-old. Yeah. And wow. so we use Starlink for internet on the road. Yeah, so and awesome. um, along with that, um, she's seen things um, across the country that most people read about. That's great. That's, so we found Sacagawea's awesome. grave site. You know, Amazing and then places. You uh, have right. to yeah. have the conversation about... Uh, the Lewis and Clark expedition, then it goes into the Louisiana Purchase, and so it, it helps to um, make a connection with it. That's the big thing. That is yeah. awesome. That is, I mean, it's it's a pretty rare that people are traveling with a, an older teenager mm -hmm. like that. That's amazing mm -hmm. that she's willing to do this with her parents mm -hmm. because our kids would say no way. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I don't want to miss anything, and so we're finding all these hidden gems, and that's what is really intriguing her. She's her history buff That's is great. coming out and so it's been it's been really exciting is she the show here really? she is and she's gone back to take a little break okay, right on and uh yeah. but she we, she comes with us wherever we go that is amazing okay great well it's, it's been been awesome talking to you guys so you guys. where are you here? and alice going to go next That's we, what we want to know because your subscribers here they need some information why are you going to be here at the show and then where are you going next? Yeah. Because you didn't think you were going to get interviewed, did you? I like you? that. I like this. He's turning it around on me. Yeah, we're, we spent the winter here in Florida. We're planning a trip out west during the summer, but my health has been uh, kind of ups and downsy. So we're going to have to see whether or not I can pull it out for the summer. But we're planning on traveling west. So we're going to pray for you and all the guys on the channel pray for him so that he has good health. And then you guys can come see us in Yellowstone because we work in Yellowstone every summer. Wow, we will be, we're going to Yellowstone. So, so I'm a tour guide right and on. she works in the Yellowstone General nice. Stores. And then our 17 year old daughter who's been working since she was 14 in Montana works at the best barbecue place in West Yellowstone. Wow, yeah, that's so. a good connection here, right? It's our Isn't happy it? place. So this is awesome. So the look interview us up. people has tips to it. Yep. Okay, great. Well, thanks very much. And, and we'll see you for the rest of the show. Yes, Just absolutely. remember, downsizing makes sense. Hey, show. Okay. Okay. Well, you can't even see me. <laughs> okay. Okay. We have got a great bunch of girls here. They're going to talk to us about the RV show. So what are your names? Uh, I'm Lucy. Angela. Cindy. Christina. All right. Right on. Now, so you guys already RVers or are you just here just checking it out? Just checking, checking it, out. it out. Okay. So. Wannabes. What's that? Wannabes. Wannabes, okay. Well, yeah, exactly. I've been full time for three years. I'm not, I have a channel, I have a YouTube channel, and this is what we share on the channel. It's like, if you're just thinking about it, how do you get from thinking about it to actually doing mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. And that's what, I, we sold everything three years ago, and we went full time. I quit my job. And hit oh, the road, wow, yeah. Right? Mm. So you you're at the show. What type of RV are you thinking about doing? Well, I'm going to flip it back to you just for a second, if you okay. don't mind. Okay. So <laughs> this, right? yes. this like gentleman it. made the decision to sell all of his things, pack up, buy an RV, and travel the country. And he is finding it amazingly beneficial. Now, what I need to find out from you, what are the three reasons that you would have wished that you would have done it sooner? That is a good question. Well, the reason I did it as soon as I did is because of health problems. If I, I was 55 when we started, and we had originally planned to do this in our 60s, but I had health problems. I'm like, am I going to be able to do this in my 60s? So the one thing is do it as soon as you can, as soon as you financially can do it and not be like strapped. And then because it is a lot more expensive 
than you think it's going to be. Okay, so talk about that just a little bit more. Like, where are the expenses that I would need to be sure that I plan ahead on if I am thinking about doing this? What did you learn? Well, we've uh, so the first six months in the first year, we did videos on every dollar we spent, and we thought we were going to spend three to four thousand dollars a month. We ended up paying more like six to eight thousand dollars a month. Oh, okay. That's right. Good to know. Yeah, big money in the first year. The second year was less, and we're getting a little bit better. But things like diesel is very expensive. You know, uh, camping fees, insurance is a big one. Because you got to have health insurance. Think about insurance. Well, because yeah. of your job. I didn't. Right. So, so, so didn't when I quit my job, now I have to get health insurance. Right. Yeah, like say you were working virtually. Right. Okay, yeah. so you, know, you had all those that. Those people have a big advantage if they're still working on the road. If you have an income and then you have insurance, there's a ton of savings there for okay. sure. Okay, okay. So, what I want to know is in all honest and truthful, what are three reasons why I shouldn't buy one? Hmm, I can't. I'm sold on this lifestyle. I love it, but you shouldn't do it if you're not an adventurous person. One, one, because yeah, there you go. You ha there's no point in doing this unless you're gonna get out there and do it. Don't just park your RV and sit inside all day. The whole idea is to get out there and hike, get on the mountains, get on your bicycle, get in the water, do all these things. Okay, so that's the main reason. I have like a brain injury, so what was the, what was the... So just, why, why would you recommend that I wouldn't buy one? So wouldn't, this is true. So wouldn't, I am adventurous. Wouldn't, wouldn't, why, you why you wouldn't do it. I would say that if you have family reasons, um, is because not everybody in your life is going to be crazy about you doing this. So if that is really important to you, then you're something you're gonna really have to consider uh, whether you got kids or parents or brothers or sisters or maybe even just really good friends that you're gonna get on the road and they're gonna feel hurt that you're like leaving them. Yeah. No, seriously. Okay. okay. And that actually that's valid. So the two reasons. What's the third reason why I? A third. If you don't have the money. Okay. So so all I gotta say is it's all possible for everybody. But really, look at your budget. Realistically, that's why a lot of people watching videos and things like that is good. Most people on YouTube are going to say, it's so cheap, anybody can do it on $1,000 a month. Don't listen to that. Do your own budget. Like, really, how much would you be spending on fuel? How much on camping fees? Uh, insur insurance is a huge one. You know, you got uh, health insurance, life insurance, RV insurance, car insurance. I mean, that all adds up and it makes sure you really, yeah, I mean, yeah. There's, there's, if you start adding up the minutia of those little things, they all add up to a lot and make sure you have that squared away. And Jen, you have a question. <laughs> I have a question for Larry. That's okay. That's right. Would you recommend <laughs> traveling with a pet? Yes, yeah, so uh, it's kind of funny that you just asked that. We started off with our two little doggies and they were a little old because we had rescued them. And unfortunately, um, our little dog just died uh, about two weeks ago. So it was a little York. Uh, we had a Yorkie and a little terrier, and so we're looking for another pet right now. Okay. Thank you for rescuing. That's awesome. Yeah. So it, they were older. So unfortunately, so now we're looking for a much younger puppy because. That just about killed us. So, but we we highly recommend traveling with a pet. It will put a damper on some things that you want to do. You have to. You know, we we would not leave ours for more than six to eight hours in the RV, and we had to make sure she was safe and stuff like that. Um, I have a question. Um, do you mind for a second if we go around the circle and we have some questions for the moderator? <laughs> um, is the um. Is the RV that you're looking at diesel or is it gas? Come in, come in, come in, okay, come in for a little closer. Hello, we have a few questions from the audience. No. Lucy? Is no. the, I, I don't know the specifics of mine. No. Is there a difference in your opinion between diesel and gas? I think if you're towing a travel trailer or a or a fifth wheel, I highly, highly recommend. <laughs> this is great. I highly recommend uh, a diesel truck. Okay. Um, if you're okay. if you're just doing it a weekend, a gas truck is fine. Yeah. I personally think a diesel because it's longevity; it'll last forever. Yeah, 
if you take good take good care of it yeah no but diesel is more expensive right now at one point it was almost twice as much for diesel this last summer than it was for gasoline i don't know twice as much for diesel yeah what about, it was what crazy if, okay what about safety do you ever get in a in a spot that you feel like there's a lot of yeah areas where there might be some dangerous that, that people. That is a great question. It's not. I'm not worried about me, but uh, while we're traveling, I got sick for a month, and then uh, we decided to travel anyways. But I had to fly back every 30 days, and um, I had to leave my wife. So I always made sure I let her. I always had her in a safe place. But that that's a really good question, especially. Uh, that females especially if they're traveling alone have concern about and you just make sure you're you're in, in good places you know safe and if you don't feel safe get out yes. you know we so don't recommend walmarts and all this other oh, stuff that a lot of people that's, say that's it's good for it's it's good for a stopover if you have to we only use them in emergency so is the clientele different at those places that are free yes yeah the cheaper it gets okay. the yeah, the one thing that uh, being, uh, you know, like we, we mostly just stay at Florida State Parks in here in Florida, and they're awesome. But they're not cheap. They're 40 bucks a night. But the good thing is everybody else there is paying 40 bucks a night. And they're in, they're, you know, they're nothing that you're going to have to worry about. Do you find them on a website? Like where What's that? Spots? Yeah, so uh, for us, we uh, when we travel across the country or in Florida, it's always Florida State Park. I love this. This is great. I don't have to hold it the whole time. A Florida, Florida State Parks, which which are beautiful, and most states have state parks that are great. Absolutely. And those are forty dollars a night. Generally, about forty dollars a night. Whether it's whether it's here or or Minnesota, where, where you guys are from, where? Uh, I'm from St. Pete, so I was going to go camping in Desoto, and that's about uh, we were thirty five forty dollars. Yeah. So we were there two weeks ago. We were in Fort Desoto. And that's a little bit more expensive if you want to be on the water or if you want to be in the dog area because there's only one little dog area in Fort DeSoto and it's they charge you a little bit more for each one of those. So it's probably like $45 a night at Fort DeSoto. But it's awesome. It's beautiful. Okay. Well, thank you very much. You've been an amazing help to me. Does anybody else have any other questions? So who's, who's the, are, you, are you the RV or are you the potential RV? I'm the potential RV. And how did you get your friends to come along with you to do this? They're the ones that brought me here. Is that right? So, <laughs> yes. Um, and I'm like a kid in a candy store. So, so you're um, thinking about, about uh, traveling on the road and working while you're traveling and just cruising around the country. Yes. I highly recommend it. But, you know, you're going to have to do your preparation, especially financially. And uh, if you're doing it alone as a female, you're going to have to be uh, watch lots of stuff about safety and stuff right. like that. And how often do you move around? How we move every five to seven days. Oh, every five how days. How we have are been moving five to seven three days? Years. Three years. That's a lot. It is. And, um, and we do don't have a home base now, right? Nope. Okay, so that is your home set base. Up yeah. the bathroom Everything has to be set up each time? every every okay. week. Now we stay mostly at Florida State Park, so there's no sewer. It's just water and power. Water. And so oh, is this one yours? Oh, so no. Oh, is that right? You have to like, find oh a God. dumping station. Like so we have we are right. So <laughs> most of the parks have a dump station. So you and know that's extra. we have a week. So if we're there for a week, we have 50 gallons. So in 50 gallons. That's all your showers and sink for your kitchen and all that kind of stuff, dishwasher. So my wife has learned to take two gallon showers. That's a fast shower. So that's called, we call it a Navy shower. So I actually yeah. measure when she starts the shower and when she ends it, how much water she so used. So the water will last a week. So our water, we've got it so we can last about a week, 50 and gallons. And how often do you have to dump into, into the So that's one of the reasons we move once a week because that way we only... Did you get a free one? Yeah, yeah, you get it free. You can go do it as much as you want. Oh, yeah. And so then you also have these little portable things that you can hook up. So you'll not, so you get it free. I thought you had to pay for it. No, no, no. It's it's free. It's it, all the campgrounds. It's free. Yeah. Okay. Those are okay. good questions, though. She's a very yes. Okay. Thank you very much. We are very excited about the RV lifestyle. Peace out.